Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zotero to Google Docs in 2024. So we're diving into the world of seamless citation management, specifically how to connect Zotero to Google Docs in 2024. So if you're ready to streamline your research and document uh, creation process, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your Zotero to Google Docs. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use like a brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have so once you open that you can start of course by ensuring that you have zotero installed and configured if not, make sure to go and install Zotero and set up your account. So go here to the URL section and simply we'll have to type Zotero and basically hit the enter button. This should take you in here. Just go and click on this first link, which is Zotero, your personal research assistance. Go and click on that. And as you can see, you'll find the download option right here. So simply just go and click on download and make sure, of course, you can install it for Windows, which is Zotero uh, 6 for Windows, your personal research assistance, or you can install it for Google Chrome as an example. So uh, Zotero connector, save to Zotero from your browser. Zotero connectors automatically sense content as you browse the web and allow you to save it to Zotero with one single click. So if you want to download it as an app on your PC, make sure to click in here. Or if you want to download it as an extension, you will have to click in here. So in this video, we are going to try to connect Zotero to our Google Docs. So as an example, let me just go and open a new tab and simply type docs.google.com. This should take you into the Google Docs right away. You can log into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, just go and create an account and log into it. Of course, you can log in with, Google, with your Google account. So let me just go here and start a new document as an example. So for you, you'll have to open your doc, uh, Google Docs documents where you want to insert like the uh, the citation that you need. And of course, as an example, once you open that, of course, you can even create like uh, a bio uh, bibliography. And the Zotero add-on will work seamlessly within your Google Docs environment. So of course, we'll have to go and download this first of all as uh, that, as the extension. So as you can see, Zotero connect, uh, connector, just go and click on add extension or add to Brave, then add the extension. And we'll have to wait until download should not take a lot of time. In the meanwhile, you can scroll down, read what people saying about it, read the overview and what's coming with it and etc. You can see privacy and support what is installed. What's installed? You can go here to the top right and you'll find like this extension icon. If you're using other browser, you may not find this the same icon as me. So keep hovering your icons until you find the extensions or just click on this three dots or three lines here and make sure to go for extensions and you will find that right away. And as you can see for me, it's already here. So let me just go and pin that and, and pin all of those options right here so we can see it alone or let's just keep pinning like, I don't know, this maybe this useful things and let's just even pin this so i can keep like easy access to it always so here let me just go and close that i don't need it anymore and as you can see we are in here in our uh like uh, google docs now so as you said this is the document where we are going to insert the citation and create the bibliography so what do we need to know is simply go and launch the zotero add-on so go to the zotero which is this one, as you can see, Zotero Connection. Just simply go and click on, on that. And as you can see, if you click again, save to Zotero web page with snapshots has access to the site. So if you click on it, this will basically, once you click on it once, will add a new citation or edit an existing citation in your doc document at the cursor location. So wherever your cursor location at. Of course, you can even add or edit bibliography. You can insert a bibliography at the cursor location or edit an existing bibliography as an example. Of course, other than that, you'll be able uh, to go, to, sorry, to the preferences of that. So as an example in here, just go and click on this. And as an example, go here to options as example, will be taken here. So we'll be able, of course, as you can see, we have Zotero is currently available. 
if Zotero is open, you can see the troubleshooting page. You can update the status of it, of course. You can save to Zotero.org. Zotero connector must be authorized in order to save items to Zotero.org. When Zotero is not open, so you will have to authorize that. Of course, you'll have to log in into your account. Uh, and if you have an account, log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to click on register for a free account. As simple as that and start creating your account. So as an example here, and here is an example, I'll just name omics why not email of course i'll use this email confirm email i'll have to retype it by my own at gmail.com and the password i'll just go here and create like a small password and i'll have to verify this password i'm not a robot of course and finally register as you can see thank for registering we've sent an email to activate your account so i'll just go here open my email provider to activate everything and go to zotero right here as you can see thank you for signing up to zotero please confirm your account clicking on the following link so simply just go and click on that and as you can see it's success so it's opened right now and i'll be able to use it so just close those open that again okay not this one this one and yeah i don't need this anymore so just go here click on authorize again and as you can see now everything is working correctly so a new private key so an application would like to connect to your account the application zotero connector would like to access to your account create a new private key to share with the third party so they can access your data so simply just uh, you will find here as an example the disk key description accepts or change permission if you want to so for me i'll just go and accept default and as you can see everything is authorized at the moment if it's still currently like available, you can see like the troubleshooting page if you have an option or a problem. Here, of course, in the proxies options or proxy settings, Zotero will transparently redirect requests through saved proxies to this. And of course, you can enable that or disable that. And here on the advanced, of course, you'll be able the following errors have occurred uh, since Zotero connector was started. So you can find here all the errors. You can submit the reports as it is. And of course, here we have the debug output login the translators and google docs integration so what do we need to do is simply enable this google docs integration so we can connect it to google docs and as you can see add edit citation shortcuts which is it's going to be uh, control plus alt plus c so it will be used in our google docs so now let's just refresh this page as an example and here go uh, hit the control alt c and it should start working as you can see so is zotero running the zotero connector was enabled to connect uh, to communicate with zotero desktop application zotero must be open uh, to use web based sites and you can download this so if it's still not working just go and download the app maybe the extension is not working correctly so just go and download it and after that definitely it will start working you can of course now insert your citation create your bibliography format this uh, citation style edit and manage the citations and even finalize your documents and you will be good to go so there you have it basically if you want to connect it to google docs all you need to do is just access the settings or sorry access the settings of zotero go to options go to advanced and check this option of enable of course that after you authorize everything in zotero.org make sure to even download the app and do the same so you'll basically have to log into your account and enable it to google docs then use any shortcut that you choose from you can even change this example to i don't know maybe uh control shift c also do whatever suits you and of course change it to whatever you want so let it like that at the moment so that's going to be it for our video i hope you like it thank you for watching and goodbye